Hi, Dan here, and here's another quick tip on goal kicking. Move back to a comfortable position. There is no particular pattern to moving back, but whatever it is, keep it consistent. Goal kicking can be complicated, but you can make it easier by breaking it down to bite-sized pieces. And remember, practice, practice, practice makes perfect. Good morning Aotearoa, what is up? Rise and shine, welcome to another week of Small Blacks TV. In the locker room today, we have two stars from one of New Zealand's most successful girls rugby team. Give it up, put your hands together for Amy Cocaine and Deidre Roberts. Yes! Welcome to the locker room, come on in, have a seat. Thank you, thank you. Girls, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm Amy Cocaine, I went to Clifton Primary School and I played for Fielding Saturday Morning Rugby Club. And I'm Deidre, I went to Rangawa here primary school and I play for Saturday Morning Rugby Club too. Deidre, how long have you been playing rugby and why did you get started? Um, I've been playing since I was six. I used to watch my brother play and I kind of just got sick of standing on the sideline and I wanted to get into it. And Amy, you're from England, how did you end up in fielding? Oh well my dad was in the Air Force in England, um, just decided to join the Air Force over here and he got stationed at Ohakia Air Base which is just outside of fielding. So, yeah. Your dad's also involved in the coaching of your team, how's that? Uh, it's good. Um, the coaches are real good. They're real passionate about the sport. Um, they set real high standards for us girls and they um, give us the best opportunities for the sport. Well, someone whose standards are always sky high is our man Richard Kahui and he's coming up next on Cucks vs Kids. Welcome to Cucks vs Kids, the toughest rugby course in the world. It will take skill, speed, strength, courage, and just a little bit of luck to take down Rugby Let's World go. Cup winning champion Richard Kutzkahu. Who is a contender and who is a pretender? Let's meet the challengers. Daniello is Andreas, what a name. He plays lock and his favourite All Black is the dreaded one, Ma'anonu. In red is Sophie Irving, look out for her. She is quick, she is fast and her favourite All Black is Jerome Kainal. Thomas Woodward, he's on the wing so you know he's quick and his favourite All Black is Izzy Dag. Andreas, what's the game plan for today? Oh, I'm going to play fast and strong. Fast and strong. Sophie, he's going fast and strong. What do you think is going to be the hardest thing for you? Probably the sprigs, because everyone's got hard up on them. Hope I don't. <laughs> what about you, Thomas? Who do you think is going to be hardest to beat? Uh, probably Richard, because he's an all black and he's stronger than us. And he's tall, eh? He's really tall. How are you feeling, mate? Yeah, good, good. I heard uh, Greg's trying to learn another language. Jawohl! Ich habe learning the Sprach in the Deutsch. What's that, Jamaican? Oh, man, I, I thought it was... Nein! Das ist Deutsch! From Deutschland! I never heard of it, uh, mate. You got me, mate. You, what German! Does, can you still riff? Oh, oh German. German! Oh, yeah, man. Achtung! So it sounds like it. I think that means get ready. Oh. Ein! Zwei! Drei! Oh. Schnell! And we're off oh, and racing. Yeah. I'll try and keep up with the riff. Schnell is German for hurry up. No one can understand your, your French. Nein, das ist Deutsch. Huh? Ich bin sprachen Deutsch. Huh? Deutsch. Are you the guy of cool runnings? Nein, 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 nein. I love that Deutsch. That sauerkraut <laughs> und Autobahn. Autobahn. Sauerkraut. Autobahn. Go. The ref go. wants us yeah, to yeah, drive to enough, get vegetables. Enough. Finish. Go. Schnell. We all love schnell. a little bit of trash talk. Ah. And Sophie is giving it to cucks. I'm coming up here. Ah. They hit the tackles and it's Cux and Sophie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ten push-ups and ten sit-ups is nine, all that stands four, in the seven, way of that seven, winning. Seven, That's German seven, for win. Nine, ten. Ah. It's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Wo ist dein, in dein ja. Casio ja. Nürburgring? In dein Mercedes Benz in dein da Mul And speaking of cars, check out the wheels on Sophie. She's in the driver's seat. Instant replay, folks. Ball in two hands, planning the feet for great side steps. Intense focus and her eye is on the Victory and Cuxvest Kids prize pack. She takes the win with an awesome dive. You did it, Sophie! You did it! Thomas second, Andreas third, and Cux is in last in place. And you don't need a translation for that one. That's a small, small black player of the day. Thanks, man. That's you. Woo! So, Deidre, when I was at school, most girls stood on the sidelines. Why do so many play at fielding high? I think the attraction is just how good we've been over the seasons and how much we're getting better. Um, just our legacy and how some of the girls want to carry that on throughout the years. So, Sam Whitelock and Aaron Smith both went to fielding high. Amy, did they inspire you? Um, I think they did a good job of putting, like, small towns on the map, so, like, proves that through hard work you can get to that top level of representing in your country. And a former captain of yours, Sarah Goss, she's a star of New Zealand women's sevens team. Is that a goal for, for you, DJ? Uh, definitely. Playing how she's gone so far and she's, um, she's so young but she's doing so much with her life, it's definitely an aspiration to be like her. Great. Well, stick around, guys, because we're going to get to know Amy and Deidre a lot more right after Small Blacks on tour. Roll the tip. What's up, Small Blacks? You know your boy Noah always rides in style? And today we're going to meet one very lucky Blues fan, Satala Satala, the Milo VIP. What does that mean? It means you get to roll with the big boys. Satala, are you ready for this? Ready or not, here we come. Me and my boys, Blues players Charlie Farmoina and George Moala, have rolled into Otara to pick up our VIP and his family and take them to tonight's game against the Hurricanes. What's up, Milo VIP? Chuck it on the table. I think there's one for everyone. Well, we've got something special for our VIP, Sitala, so come on up, brother. Blues VIP? Yeah. yeah that's perfectly. So, Sitala, how did you win this prize? Oh, I joined the club named Eastern Key, and I saw one a lucky ticket number out of 7,000 kids in Auckland. And how long have you been playing rugby for? I've been playing league all my life, so this year I want to try out uni, because it was more entertaining than league. Did you ever think you'd have blues players inside your living room? Oh, uh, not really, because I feel I would be the first blues in my house, but only if I passed the trial. <laughs> George, Charlie, Mum, we ready to rock and roll? Let's do it, let's do it. So just go all the way down to the end. And we were on our way with the beats pumping and our swag of prizes. We rolled out of Ōtara like movie stars or blues players. So, Charlie, is this how the blues roll to all your games? I wish, I wish, but nah, this is just for the, the, the VIP, so, yeah. We all know the rules of bingo. Road trip yeah. means one thing. Bingo and time! And bingo was his name. B-I-N-G-O, 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 and bingo was his name. Oh, <laughs> gosh! <laughs> this is the first Super Rugby game Tetala has been to, and his team, the Blues, are up against my team, the Hurricanes. What's been the best part about your VIP experience so far? George and Charlie picked me up to come to the Blues game. Yeah, it was cool. That hummer was mean, eh? Yeah, it was mean. <laughs> well, let's go Blues, let's go Hurricanes! The Blues had sorted us with awesome seats and Sertala's team started well with two first half tries. So Sertala, half time, how do you think the boys are going? Oh, the boys are going really well. Very good in the attack and defence. Two good tries, so hope it carries on this on the other half. You caught it, Setala. The Blues continued to dominate my Canes, and by the end of the match, it was 28-6. What's the best part of your whole VIP experience? The Blues giving them a hiding. Oh, relax on that. <laughs> well, mate, we'll let you get some autographs. It's been an awesome day, thanks to Nestle, thanks to the Blues, hooking us up with our Marlow VIP. All right. Welcome back, Small Blacks. In the locker room today, we have Deidre and Amy from the champion Field and Gills High rugby team. 
So girls, I've set up a drill to test your skills. Three targets, best out of three wins. Deidre, you're up first. Right here. Follow through, eyes on the target. There goes one. Ooh, nearly. Amy, take it away. Ooh, one. <laughs> oh, she just pips her at the end. Well, it looks like you need a little bit more practice. So does our Small Blacks news team. They're coming up now. Who's going to do the news? Oh, OK. Well, give me a second. <clears throat> Hello and welcome to Small Blacks News. I'm Conrad Smith and this... Is Small Blacks News. Cheer, bro. I've got it from here. Today in 2003, Ma Nonu played his first game for the All Blacks along with Tana Umanga and Rodney Sowalo. The three set the world record for the most dreadlocks in one team. Mm. No, I shouldn't have cut my dreadlocks in fourth form. Could have gone all the way. Someone who did go all the way is our All Black streetwalker, Conrad Snakey Smith. Mate, who are you wearing today? Pua, today I have a jersey close to my heart. The greatest team in the country, Wellington. Mm. You don't say. Say, isn't that your team? I proudly say yes. But let's see what the people out here say about this legendary union. What provincial rugby jersey am I wearing? Wellington Lions. Wellington. 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 The Wellington Lions. You've yes. answered two questions in one. Who is the captain of the Hurricanes? You are. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't write these, by the way. You. Yes. Oh, that'd be you, wouldn't it? <laughs> the Cook Strait Ferry, Lee from Wellington. Where does it end up? Dunedin. Dunedin. Dunedin? That's a long way away. Which is not a Wellington rugby club? Porniki, Inglewood or Wes? Inglewood. Inglewood? Yep. Where's Inglewood from? I don't know. <laughs> Porniki. Inglewood. 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 After Auckland, Papakura, North Otago, West Canterbury and Ruggerland, Wellington is my favourite team. We are humbled by your loyal support. And that's all we have time for today. Stay on side, Wellington. OK, girls, you ready? I'll show you it's done. Yep. Boom! What you know oh, about oh, that? Sorry about <laughs> you. <laughs> Deidre, you're in your first year at Otago Uni. What's the women's rugby scene like down there? It's definitely awesome. It's just a lot of upskilling and playing beside Black Ferns is definitely an awesome part of it. And you both scored in last year's final. Is that what you like most about the rugby, Amy? Oh, scoring's definitely amazing. There's no doubt about that. But I think the bit I like the most is the team and like the family bond you get with playing with each other. You're this year's captain. Deidre, you are the captain last year. I'm sure you both give great advice, just like All Black skipper Richie McCaw, coming up now. Richie, the kid at school keeps picking on me. What would you do? Um, it's a bit of a tricky one, isn't it? Uh, I think the best thing to do is actually tell someone, like a teacher or someone, to say something because no one should have to put up with that, really. And that's, it, it is tricky because these things happen, you, you know, it's part of being at school, I suppose, that uh, it's never always straightforward. But I think the best thing is not to just uh, let it build up on you. You're better just to uh, ask for some help. <laughs> Sam! For goodness sakes, pass it! Run, Sam, run! Pin your ass back, boy! Kick it, Sam! Kick it! That's it! Burn it! Oh. Oh. Nice tackle, Marty! Great work! Hey, can you guys do me a favour? Sure. You're Dan Carter. Just keep doing what you're doing. The more you confuse your players, the more points we score. Nice guy, that Dan Carter. Yeah, well, I cheer for him when he plays for the All Blacks. Small blacks play for fun and to be with their mates. Turn down your volume and turn up the applause.
Welcome back to the locker room. We're here with Fielding High's Amy Kirkane and Deidre Roberts. Girls, you took out the Nationals last year. Let's have a look at some footage and I'm going to read out some results. Played 40, won 40, scored 336 tries, 2,061 points for, 103 against, and six players in the Manawatu Sevens team. So you've brought along your silverware. Amy, what was it like winning the 15s? Oh, this is the trophy won for winning the 15s. It's the first year it's ever been run. Um, it's quite a hard day. It was pouring down with rain, you know, good old Manawatu weather. Well, your team is very impressive, and coming up is another impressive team, the Yellow Bellies on Rugga Quiz. <laughs> Gosh, I can't find him. Dang it, squad, Robo better show up soon. Otherwise, I'll be very unhappy. And you won't like me when I'm very unhappy. But, Gosh, we don't like you when you're not unhappy. Welcome to Run a Quiz, the game show where you get it right or you get on home. Please welcome your host, a man so handsome he once dated his own mirror. It's Clark Watson. Thank you very much, boys in the sky. Let's win the team! Well, Clark, we have the team most likely to be booed off by their own mothers, Green and Mean, and their opponents, as always, the yellow Yellowliciously Yellow Valley. But, yes, Barry, we can't possibly begin. Robo's not here yet. And tell a host who cares, because let's get it gone! Oh, sorry, boss. I got lost on the way back from the powder room. Oh, what the, what's, what's that smell? Something or someone stinks. It's like rotting socks after a million rugby games. Thank you, Alice. That's the exact fragrance I was going for. Well, it's burning my nose. Robo smells so bad. It's making my fleas annoyed. And that means they get angry. Oh, ah. I quite like it. Oh, why, thank you, Squat. The perfume is called Clogged to Toilet. Now everyone's here, can we please get this going? Question one, finish the sentence. The referee is always... Power, green and mean. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> is not the right answer. The correct answer is, the referee is always right. Right, here's the next question, true or false? The first rugby balls were made out of sheep's bladders. I think Robbo's perfume is made out of a skunk's bladder. Was that an answer, Rugger? Um, yes, um, false? False is true! They were originally made out of pig's bladders! Mmm, bacon flavoured rugby balls. Delicious! It's time for our Tereo teaser! What is the Māori word for black? Alice, yellow bellies! It's Pungo Clark. My darling Alice, you are right! Yellow bellies lead heading into the Who Am I round? I was born in 1983 and went to Fraser Crescent Primary School. I have one older sister and my favourite subject at school was PE. I first played rugby when I was six years old, but now I'm wing for the Hurricanes. Who am I? Barry, green and mean. I'm sorry, Barry, but is not right. Let's take a look. If you guess Corey Jane, then you're right. Barry, I'm going to give you something else to choke on. Minus 1,000 points for your team melting the points off the board. The final question today is, what am I? Clark, this cannot go on. You have to call off the show. Oh, my throat is burning, and I didn't even eat any fire today. Who 
This is a code red hygiene violation. You lot, the company nurse, you lot, quarantine. Step. Let's shut it down, boys. Mmm, this is worse than when Squat ate a tub of beans and we got trapped in an elevator. That's the end of our show, but before we go, let's have a look at next week's What Am I? Because if you know the answer, text your answer to 4 triple eight to win this great man people. That's all we got time for. I'm Black Lantern. I'll see you all next week. So, Robert smelt pretty funky there. Deidre, what do you say to girls that say rugby's smelly and dirty? Well, rugby is a winter sport, so of course you're going to get dirty and smelly. For me personally, getting muddy and stuff was definitely the best part of the game, especially when I was younger. It was fun rolling around the mud. Well, you're pretty good at this hot potato. Another game you can play is dodgeball. And here's why a crocket could tell us all about it. Hey guys, I'm White Crooked, and today I'm going to show you one of my favourite games. It's called Dodgeball, and you'll need good evasion skills and a good eye to survive. And if you do, you might end up playing like this one day. Away to Barrett, turns it back to Sabia, bounces out of one tackle. Now Gruden to Conrad Smith. And the All Blacks work a great move, and Nanu. Quick hands required. Lovely offload. Messam and Liam Messam. You'll need a group of teammates and about four balls, depending on how hard you want to make it. This is a great game to play during school, lunchtime or at practice, and it's a lot of fun. About eight players form a circle with two balls. One person is in the middle, that's the target. The outside group throws the ball at any time to try and hit the target below the knees, so don't throw it too high. Here's how the pros do it. The circle of players have to use proper passes, so they can't just throw it any way they want to. When the target is hit, the player swaps with whoever threw the ball. The key is to catch and pass quickly, and you can also pass to other players who are in a better position to hit the target. The target needs to be aware of where all the balls are to survive. If that's too easy, then keep adding balls until the target is hit. That's all for now, so get dodging. This is a game from the All Blacks Camp for Kids program. Check it out at abcforkids.co.nz. Well, that's us for another week. Thanks to our locker room guests, Amy and Deidre. High five. All the best of that winning streak. And hopefully we'll see you in black one day. Small Blacks, we'll see you same time, same place next week. Peace out. OK, now, girls, you know when you started playing rugby, did you used to pass the ball like netball, like thumbs down? Yeah. Four men. I thought so, because your passing wasn't too good. I was thinking, maybe they passed it like funky, man. <laughs> what position do you play, actually? I play hooker. And what about you, Deidre? I uh, flag. No wonder why you can't pass yeah. the forwards. <laughs> and it's my favourite. Mm. And hot. Nice work, Tommy. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.